What's up, y'all? Today is speed day for the bench, and can you guys tell me what is different about this picture? If you guessed all the shoes, you are correct. So I've been cutting weight and all my leverages are all fucked up. My arms are smaller, my stomach is smaller, so I don't arch as high as before. My fucking ass is smaller, I don't get the same leg drive. So I put on all these shoes to hopefully correct all of that and get better leg drive and get a better arch. And guess what? It is successful, so you will be seeing me bench with all these shoes a lot more as my weight comes down and it's gonna feel really good. The next thing that I changed is my accessories. My second accessories immediately, or my first accessories immediately right after speed bench is incline dumbbell bench. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I feel like that is one of the major components to why my lockouts are weak now. I've been neglecting upper chest. So when you bench, the barbell starts at your upper rib, lower nipple area, right? And you do not bench in a straight line. When you complete the bench, the barbell is actually on top of your shoulder. So when you're benching, it actually curves up. So the lockout portion of the bench relies heavily on upper chest, which I haven't been doing, which is probably why my bench is a fucking weak little motherfucking bench right now, or at least my lockout is a weak little sissy ass bench. So I gotta fix that shit and make sure I get my bench on track because if you ain't, if you can't lock out your motherfucking bench, what's the point of motherfucking benching? Right? Then I moved on to some shoulder presses, five by five to keep it moderately heavy. And one really effective point that I want to point out is when you're doing shoulder presses, keep your hands the same width as your bench width. I get a lot of people telling me, yo, you know when I do my shoulder presses, they always tell me it's supposed to help my bench, but it doesn't really help my bench. And I'm like, well, where's your width at? And they got it all close and shit, or they have it all wide. I'm like, well, how the hell is that supposed to transfer over to your bench if your grip on your shoulder press is all fucking retarded? So make sure you have it the same as your bench if you want it to transfer directly to your bench. Then I finished off with some supersets of some side lateral raises and some front lateral raises. And I just took off my shirt just to see how much progress I've been making. And I think I'm looking pretty good. I was fat as fuck a few months ago. Now I'm about mid 180s. I still got a little ways to go before I hit low 180s or high 170s, but I am on track. So I just gotta keep on that diet. And that's about it for this video. Peace. We have less than a month now. We have to think about you know, how are we gonna move the current location into this location? What renovations do we have to make? Can we afford it? Do we have enough time? So it's, it's 